every camera guy needs a, a good camera indicator to let them know in their eyepiece, their sight ring, or even if they're not jumping with a sight ring, whether their camera is on or off. And the product that I'm using is one made by a company called Hypoxic, or the Hypi. And with me here, I've got the inventor, Trunk. Welcome to uh, PIA TV. Hello. And uh, so why don't you tell people a little bit about what you got here and why it's such a great tool. Well, pretty much I have the uh, Hypi here. Uh, right now you can see that we're recording because it's red, and then we have a warning. Pretty much that you know your battery's low or your tape's low or you know whatever. And uh, generally in the plane, right before you jump, you're on standby like that. And then uh, say you you know your battery's starting to run low, you know again it's like a warning. Okay, I'm running low on tape or battery or something like that, but I got a minute left on the jump. I'll be fine. You hit record on an exit. You can definitely see it right when you go, even looking straight up in the sun because it's super bright LEDs that I'm using. Um, and it, it totally gives you like a, a status of how your camera's working, you know. So, so what's different about the uh, the Hi-Pi versus say a, a Cam-Eye or one of the other camera indicators out there? Well, as you can see, like the Hi-Pi has no push button on it, um, like the Cam-Eye does. Uh, with the Cam-Eye, you have to actually stick onto your helmet or drill a hole in your helmet or whatnot. The Hi-Pi is totally fully enclosed. All the electronics are right here in the, the display. So there's no drilling needed, everything is enclosed, everything is in, within your helmet, you know, no, no snag points. No well, now, I know you, you don't have the switch and that's kind of an unusual feature. For me personally, I started with one that had a switch and a riser slap yeah, took my off. switch away. Um, are you finding that that's one of the, the biggest selling points of the high pi is people don't have to deal with that? You know, it's, it's one of the biggest selling points uh, is that um, people don't realize it until, you know, I mean, it, Mike, McGowan, Mike McGowan and, and a bunch of other people suggest you know, always use the switch on your camera. No matter what happens, you forget to plug this in or what, you always got that switch right here. You know where it is, you have the tactile feel to turn it on and off. If you are used to using like the camera with the push button and stuff like that, you're, once that breaks or you forget to unplug it, you're gonna lose a shot. You're like, what the heck's going on? You know what I mean? With this, it's just an indicator, it's, it's simplistic in its design. It'll show you what's going on, it'll tell you if there's a warning, you know? It's, well, it's, it's nice. One thing I like, it's nice and bright, so even though it, if it's sitting off to the side, yeah. I was jumping the Zeus helmet where yeah. I didn't have a, 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 a sight ring, so I just stuck it up on the top of the lip of the Zeus, and even though it was a long way away, dang, you see this really bright thing. It just shines right on you. Yep. It, it's, it's pretty classic. So uh, tell me, what's the uh, what's the price on the high five? Uh, right now, it's uh, MSRP for $50. Where can people get it? Um, Paragear, Aerostore directly from our website, uh, githypoxy.com, if they want more information. And uh, welcome to PIA. Thanks for taking a talk with us. Back at you.